In this video, I'm going to show you 12 high impact e-commerce CRO tips to increase your store's revenue instantly. These are the exact same tips I've used to double my own e-commerce store's revenue and turn my customers into loyal repeat buyers for years. Even better, you can apply these exact techniques without any major changes or fancy redesigns to your store. I'm Jonathan Gorham, the founder of Engine Scout, and today I'm going to show you 12 of my all-time favorite CRO techniques for an e-commerce website, including one that has doubled my sales for my own e-commerce store. Stay tuned. I want to confess something with you. When I first launched my e-commerce store, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I was obsessed with getting more traffic by spending thousands of dollars on Google and Facebook ads and scratching my head wondering why nobody was buying the products that I sold. The more money I spent on acquiring traffic made little to no difference to my store sales. I was feeling pretty dejected about e-commerce and started questioning myself, my ideas, and my ability to run a successful e-commerce store. That's when I decided to stop obsessing so much over traffic and start paying attention to something way more valuable, conversions. It took me 12 months of constant trial and error, but I finally figured out what was the technique to increase conversions. I finally cracked the code and started turning serious profits without spending any extra money on acquiring traffic to my site. With that said, I wanna share these exact same e-commerce CRO techniques with you. And also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification. That way you won't miss out on any actionable e-commerce growth tips I share when new content comes out. So let's dive into conversion tip number one. Make sure your best offer is above the fold. What does above the fold mean exactly? It's anything on your site that's immediately visible without scrolling. And here's the crazy part. 80% of your store's visitors only will look at any content above the fold. It's what they only pay attention to. So it's super important that you grab their attention at this point with an irresistible offer. For example, it could be a new winter sale or a new range of products that you've just launched. You know, whatever it is, the key idea here is that it's super crucial your best offer is above the fold as that's where the majority of your customer's eyeballs and focus is gonna be placed. And remember, each tip I share with you here will also boost your bottom line. So the more you can apply, the better your sales can be. So with that said, let's get into conversion tip number two. Clear navigation, especially for your transactional menu. Spend time organizing your store and looking at how it flows. Is it easy for customers to search for products and find what they're looking for? How do you want customers to move through and browse your store is determined by its navigation. The key thing is to make sure that your transactional menu, that's the menu that has all your products and categories displayed, stands out and it's easy to browse for customers. So instead of customers having to click on it, they should be able to hover over it and it should all be above the fold, easily viewable. Your transaction menu showcase your product range in an eye-pleasing way. That way customers can decide what products to focus on as they move to the next phase of your shopping journey. Okay, now for e-commerce CRO tip number three. Be easily contactable. Now this might sound simple, but the bottom line here is don't hide away from your customers. You need to showcase that your business, your e-commerce store is a credible business that people can trust. Have you set up a mailing address that's visible on your site in case someone wants to maybe send a return package? Even if they don't want to send a return, the fact that it's there is a trust signal for your customers. What about a phone number? I can tell you from firsthand experience as an e-commerce business owner that adding a contact phone number and online chat alone will increase conversions to your store and you'll get more sales, I guarantee it. Some customers just want that little bit of extra care and support to nudge them across the line and they can just reach out to you whether it's a phone call or an online chat and you can handle their little question and get that sale. Okay, so the bottom line, add a phone number and a chat are two super simple e-commerce conversion tips that'll make a noticeable difference, so be sure to action this one. Okay, tip number four, invest in high quality product images. Now, this is really a no-brainer for any e-commerce store, and yet I'm still always so, so, so surprised how many stores neglect their product photos. As an e-commerce owner, you're competing against mainstream retail stores who have the advantage that customers can walk in, touch, feel, and really get a close-up look of the products that they sell. Unfortunately, they can't do that with a site. So the next best thing is to have lots of great product photos. Things like close-ups, photos of different angles of your products, in-context photos. So for example, if you were selling hiking boots, you'd want a photo of someone wearing those boots hiking up a, a rock wall, something that's in context with the product. And if you can, a short video of the product works amazing. Okay, e-commerce CRO tip number five. Optimize your product descriptions 
for conversions. Here's the thing, only 15% of people visiting your site will actually read the product descriptions, but it's these 15% of consumers that are most likely gonna purchase your, your product because they're so interested in it, they're reading every detail, so it's vital you leave no stone unturned and answer all of their burning questions. At a minimum, here's what each of your product descriptions need to have to improve sales. Avoid technical jargon if possible, okay? So if you think about it, uh, for example, don't say, you know, it's got XTC 300 technology built in. Explain what that means in an easy to understand language. XTC 300 technology means this product loads faster than any other product on the market, saving you time. The bottom line is, don't assume your customers will understand what you've actually written. The best product descriptions are easy to understand, highlight the benefits of your product, and are laid out in an easy to read bullet point format. Also important to include features, but it's the benefits of the product to your customers that will ultimately influence their purchase behavior. Now, if there's one CRO tip you take away from this video and implement on your site, it's the next one I'm about to share with you. This conversion tip alone doubled my e-commerce store's revenue. Now this might sound simple, but it works so well, it's what got me to take CRO super seriously. Set up an automated customer review sequence. Just take one look at Amazon, the most successful e-commerce store of all time, and you'll see how much value they place on customer reviews. They're everywhere. Remember, people don't buy what you sell, they buy what other people buy. And there's no better way to showcase that than the product reviews sprinkled at every part of your store. So you wanna have them on your home page, category pages, product pages, the shopping cart, the checkout page, every page, don't neglect reviews. On top of that, reviews are also good and bad because they give you good and bad feedback about your product. You can get some amazing product ideas from your customers with reviews and insights on how to improve your product. And there are plenty of great review sequence tools out there that are completely automated and easy to set up. Here's a pro tip. Set up your review request emails to be sent out approximately seven days after customers receive their items. That way, you know they've had a chance to check out the product and can leave a really cool review. Personally, I've been using Judge Me on my e-commerce store and it works great, but a simple Google search will bring up a ton of different review automation tools you can test out and see which one will work best for your e-commerce store. The next tip falls into e-commerce merchandising and it's something every e-commerce business should pay attention to. That's improving your customer's shopping journey. It should be as smooth, frictionless for customers as possible. I highly recommend putting yourself into your customer's shoes and shop your own store. Was there anything difficult about the shopping experience that you found? Perhaps too many clicks or steps before you could complete a purchase. Did your call to actions on the site guide customers and make it clear what actions they were taking? The customer experience can be a hard thing to figure out, especially if it's your own store, as your natural biases will impact what you see and it's not always clear you know, where the stop points are, where the friction points are for your customers. So if you'd like a third person perspective on this, I'll share a link in the description below where you can request an e-commerce CRO teardown for your site. It's so great you've made it this far, and I still have four revenue increasing tips to share with you, which brings me to refunds, privacies, and shipping policies. Yes, they play a big part. Like your contact info, don't hide any of this information away. Make sure they're clearly displayed across your menu. Letting people know that you have refunds policy available reduces the perceived risk customers have, especially new customers. So don't make this difficult to find. Okay, now for tip number nine. Set up an abandoned cart recovery email sequence. Cart abandonments is one of the biggest sources of lost revenue for e-commerce businesses, with up to 70% of shopping carts being abandoned in some cases. And while it's impossible to know why these people abandoned their cart, there's still a good chance you can get them back and to complete their purchase on your store using an abandoned cart recovery sequence. Here's what's impressive. On average, abandoned cart emails are open 40% of the time, which is great news because it gives you an, another opportunity to get that sale without spending another dime on traffic acquisition. An email as simple as, hey, we noticed you left something behind. Here's 15% off your purchase to say thanks for shopping with us. That's it. Tip number 10, product filters on your category pages. Product filtering on category pages gives people the freedom to shop how they wanna shop. It also makes it easy for them to focus on specific products and make a faster purchase decision. Look at it this way, what's easier? Trying to decide between three products or comparing 20 and trying to decide which one out of 20. It's a no brainer. You'll make a decision way faster if you've only got three options to decide between. You see, this strategy is actually used by a lot of SaaS websites 
you'll notice that they only give you three pricing options to choose from. That's the same sort of strategy you wanna apply with your filtering. Okay, so you're awesome for making it this far. Here's my final e-commerce CRO tip. Single click upsells. One of the best ways to increase average order values is to offer convenient single click upsells across the product and checkout pages. Adding single click upsells, especially at the checkout pages, so your cart and checkout, will lift your average order values as customers are more committed at this point in their purchase and offering a small upgrade to get buy an accessory or some item that complements the initial item, it's an easy sell. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. That way you won't miss out on any actionable growth tips. Also, if you wanna watch me do a live CRO teardown on other people's e-commerce stores, click the link above to see all the CRO teardown videos. Now I wanna turn it over to you. Which CRO tip from this video will you apply first? Maybe you'll implement an automated review harvesting strategy or perhaps improve your product descriptions. Let me know in the comments below right now. Talk to you soon.